Welcome back. So now in this video we will create some methods simply for just getting the current location of a user. So let's go ahead above the widget bill, widget bill, and above that in here. The first method that we will create it is going to be simply for just getting the location of a user. So it's going to be asynchronous. So in here the return track will be future. So in here and we'll have an object by the name position in here now you will just give the name to this specific method it's going to be simply get user place or let's say location in here as I told you before it's going to be asynchronous so in here I think it's going to be a feature based so take this down and in here we'll see it since it's a synchronous method and then in here we will say geolocator first we're going to simply just request the permission so in here you'll see a request permission then dot then and Curly braces in here, write it and semicolon and take this down from here. Now come here and remove that semicolon from here, then we say dot on error. So if there will be any kind of error, then what we will do first in here, curly braces, write it and semicolon, then we will print this error in case of any error if you get it so simply print that in here in here we will say error dollar sign and error that is fine in here write it n semicolon now write at the final step we are going to simply successfully just return first in here avid since it's uh, asynchronous method we will say avid and then we have geolocator simply gonna get the current position of a user as you guys can see this location right at top added and semicolon so we are done with this specific method simply for just getting the current lo location of a user now right after that we are gonna create another method it is gonna be simply for getting the data of a current location so we're gonna just simply just give the name as as a pack data in here now in there we'll say get user location just call upon that specific method then dot then in here call it brushes right and semicolon and it's gonna be asynchronous so in here async now simply what I'll do from here take this down we're gonna print a message so that we can know we'll say my location write it and semicolon then right after that what I'll do I'll just print in here string then we'll have a dollar sign curly braces and right in there we'll say value dot latitude first we will have the latitude for that specific location of a user and then right after again dollar sign curly braces in there we'll have again value then we will simply just get the longitude and write it and semicolon we will also add a marker for that specific place or location in here let me just check the name of a marker okay it's my marker let us go down and in here we'll say my marker then we'll simply just add add and semicolon take this down we'll say marker in here 
it's going to take the marker ID as you guys can see take this down from here so we're going to just provide the specific marker ID so that we can just recognize it easily later on so we'll say marker ID in here just provide it the first one that we have for my home is right here so we're going to simply just give the name in here it's going to be our second marker edit and comma and now we're going to just provide the specific position which will be our latitude and longitude so in here let long there we go and in here we will just simply have the latitude and longitude okay which one that one that we are just printing in here for get user location now in here let's just provide it so I'll say value dot latitude and then comma in here value dot longitude add and comma now we'll have a info window so whenever we will just click upon that specific marker then we will know it's our location so in here we'll say info window in there we're gonna provide the title it's gonna take that and in here string edit and semicolon we'll say my location and here remove that semicolon put comma all just fine and here we will just provide the const modifier so the your line will be gone also in here to this info window and whenever the user will click upon that specific button so we have to just animate the camera position towards the current position of user so what we will do for that specific purpose we have to just animate our camera to the current position of a user whenever the user will tap or press on a specific button now below this marker as you guys can see that one down below in here we'll say camera position where it's gone there we go okay camera position gonna give the name camera position object then we'll have in here camera position it's gonna just take the target for now only we'll just remove it we'll add it in a while add it and semicolon and take this down from here so we will give the target location it's gonna be lat long which one simply that one okay so you can simply just copy it from here for a time saving copy it and down in here paste it and write it and comma also we will provide the zoom level it's gonna be 14 you guys know already about that and down below in here we'll say final and gonna have the Google map controller okay so in here controller we'll say then avid since it's asynchronous we'll have future approach so then in here first let me just check the completer now it's controller okay copy it from here and go down and past it then we say dot future as I told you already and I have already explained this Google map control right in the earlier videos okay so there is no need of explain it again I'll just move further and then we say controller there we go and we say dot animate camera so it's gonna have the camera update with a new camera position and here we'll say camera position there we go and write it and semicolon and right after that we can simply just call upon this stat so it will just change the result dynamically since it's a stat for widget so we have to call upon that and all the working for that specific matter by the name pack data 
has been completed now we will go and above the widget bill now we're gonna call upon the init state so what are in here we are having that init state in there below this we're gonna just call upon the back data in here now we will simply just go and check the results because all of the working has been completed so come here and click upon that just auto load the app as you guys can see in here allow google map api to access this device location so allow it and you guys can see the animation go toward the specific area and we are having that specific marker in here just tap on that and there we go with my location okay the reason it's automatically just animate the camera towards this location because we didn't just call upon the pack data right in this specific method for this button okay if you guys just click upon that it will just do nothing because we have to just call upon that specific method which is by the name pack data that one okay come down remove that coming from here and call upon the pack data in here semicolon added and so what I'll do now I'll just go up and just comment that from here pack data right in the inner stand okay now just hold reload the app now we are on this specific location which I give as initial for the Google map and you guys can see that in here that light and long that's position right on the map now we have successfully come in that and you guys can see that it's now on G10 area and down below we successfully call upon that specific method by the name pack data now I'll go and just click upon that specific button okay it will just animate the camera right towards the current position of user so tap on that and there we go it's working totally fine it's a current position of a user and you guys can see that it's working totally fine so that's how you can get the current location of a user and basically that's it for this video right from the next video we will work further so see ya